a very warm welcome to all my new students. So, let us begin with the first English class. The English textbook has two sections, prose and poetry. And today, I'm going to start with chapter 1 from your prose section. The name of the chapter is, We are not afraid to die if we can all be together by Gordon Cook and Alan East. It is a story of extreme courage and dedication. The story is about a 37-year-old businessman who is the narrator of the story. He has a wife named Mary and two children named Jonathan and Suzanne. He and his wife both dream of a voyage around the world on the ship Wave Walker, which is 23 meters long, 30 ton wooden hull, just like that of the famous Captain James Cook. Beginning of the voyage, the whole family started sailing from Plymouth, England in July 1976. The initial phase of the three-year-long journey was from West Africa to Cape Town. After the first leg of the voyage, they were assisted by two crewmen, an American named Larry Vigil and a Swiss person named Herb Sigler in tackling the world's toughest water in the southern Indian Ocean. We are not afraid to die if we can all be together. As we all know students, the first part of their planned three years journey passed very cheerfully. And on the second day, when they were out of Cape Town, they encountered strong winds and high waves and the wind storms continued for the next few weeks. The size of the waves was up to 15 meters. On December 25th, they reached east of Cape Town, but the weather was very bad. Despite the bad weather, they celebrated Christmas Day wonderfully and New Year's Day showed no improvement in the weather and it worsened with the passing of time. At dawn on January 2nd, the waves were huge. The crew members tried to slow down the boat and prepared themselves for an impending disaster. Later in the evening, a tremendous wave wrecked the boat, throwing the narrator into the sea. Then he was tossed back into the boat. However, he was badly injured. Realizing that the boat had taken in water in its lower parts, he instructed Mary to take the wheel and then went below deck. Larry and Herb pumped out the water that had accumulated in the boat. The narrator made some repairs and began waterproofing the gapping holes. The family managed to survive for 15 hours, but 
the narrator knew that Wave Walker would not hold for long. The narrator made some calculations and found two small islands. They hoped to reach the nearest island, Lai Amsterdam, a French scientific base, soon. However, the relief was short-lived. The weather kept worsening and the situation again became hopeless. And by the dawn on 5th January, their situation was threatening. The narrator went to comfort the children. He tried to assure them that they were going to make it. Then John said that, Daddy, we are not afraid of dying if we can all be together. This gave the narrator hope and a reason to fight the sea. On 6th January, the weather improved. The narrator again tried to calculate their position. He made several calculations using a spare compass. He then said that if they were lucky, they would see the island at about 5 p.m. It was about 6 p.m. when he woke up. He thought that they must have missed the island. Just then, Sue and John came to him and gave him a hug, saying that he was the best daddy in the world. The narrator was confused. Sue announced that the island was just in front of them. He rushed out to the deck and saw the most beautiful island in the world was just in front of him. It was Lee Amsterdam. His happiness was out of the world. He was very happy seeing the island just in front of him. Moral of the story. The most important lesson that we have learned from this chapter is that when we are face to face with death, we are not supposed to lose hope under any circumstances. At times, life presents very dire situations. But if one is optimistic about finding a solution and overcomes the odds, one will always be successful.